Good morning. I think you know by now, if you've been watching my YouTube videos, those who control the monetary system control the information. Those who control the information control everything you get to see. As the pandemic goes on this way, there's a whole other narrative going on this way. My name is Coach JV. I am the top health and mindset coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. That's so important to understand. What you believe in your heart, what you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. Now, what do you end up believing in your heart? It's what you see with your eyes and your physical reality, and that creates thought processes in your mind, and those thought processes start to harden or shape your heart, right? And what we think is that the outside physical world is causing our life, but actually it's internal because it's the thoughts that's creating a subconscious mind response. It's creating an internal vibration. You're attracting or detracting what you want to you. It's subconscious mind programming. It's called preemptive programming. It's been happening for a very long time. Preemptive, predictive, whatever it's called. But it's through movies, through, we're all doing that, right? We're preemptive programming somebody when we're dating somebody to like us, right? We're all putting on the mask. Everybody does it, right? Well, I've done the complete opposite. I'm a long-haired guy that wears a tinfoil hat that has a hairy back that comes on here and I'm very authentic and open. And I tell you not to believe a word I say. Isn't that crazy? Because I want you to learn how to fish, Warriors. I don't want to give you a fish for you can eat for a day. I want to give you a fishing pole so you can eat for a lifetime. So what I'm going to share with you today is I love cryptocurrency. It's the biggest shift in generational wealth, and I'm heavily involved in cryptocurrency. Now, this isn't about getting you involved in cryptocurrency. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm just documenting my journey into the quantum financial system and fourth industrial revolution. I was at a bank for 12 years, a vice president at a bank. I went to executive banking school, CBA executive banking school, certificate banking. I learned how to build banks from the ground up and I learned the monetary system at a deep level. And I understand exactly what's going on in our monetary system. As they print money into infinity and they keep interest rates low, you're looking at a pandemic this way. There's a whole new monetary system being built this way. So I'm going to give you the breakdown. I'm going to give you a different perspective, right? I'm not going to just go over my portfolio. What I'm going to share with you is the understanding of the ecosystem so you know the game so you can't be played. Because there's a lot of YouTubers, there's a lot of great YouTubers out there, and I'm very honored. I've learned a lot from all of them. But I'm jumping into the space to put a different spin on it. Um, not technical analysis, not sharing specific coins. But what I'm going to share with you is how the system works so you can make informed decisions. So you're not sitting there going, hey, I'm getting into Bitcoin, I'm getting into XRP. And you're like, I have no idea why I'm doing it. It's just because this, we need to understand why, right? The understanding of why. That's what I teach my words in my academy. The why behind everything. When you know your why. It can make you cry. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so I love, so first of all, I'm going to click her video down there. I'm just going to show a short clip, obviously, of copyright issues. But Stansberry Research, she is a beast. I love her stuff. So she has the best guest on there. And she has a broad paint for us from people that are pro-Bitcoin, people that are not pro-Bitcoin, gold, silver, Ray Dalio, all these different people. But she is one of the best uh, journalists in regards to bringing in a monetary and financial. And I think she's an ex-investor. I don't want to speak out of school. But I'm going to play a short clip. So this is Fed Gone Wild. The Fed, right? Federal Reserve gone wild. This is a war of financial words, warns ex Goldman Sachs MD. Okay, so I'm going to play this short clip, the beginning of her intro, and I'm going to put that down there. I highly recommend you go watch that video, okay? And then I'm going to break down Goldman Sachs. Now remember, what Goldman Sachs does in the economy shifts the economy. I'm going to talk about Ripple, who they hired from Goldman Sachs. I'm going to talk about Bank of America, and then we're going to talk about Ripple's connection to Bank of America. You know, I'm a big fan of XRP, but I'm also, well, I just actually closed almost all my position in Bitcoin because I invested in a startup company that's going to change the world. And you'll hear more about that in about 120 days. My warriors are going to find out today. Uh, they're going to have the inside scoop on that. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video and then we'll go from there. Today, she is a best-selling author and investigative journalist. She was also a former managing director over at Goldman Sachs. Uh, Nomi Prinz is the best-selling author of Collusion, How Central Banks Rigged the World. Nomi, I've been following your work. For years. I don't know how we haven't connected before, but welcome welcome to the show. Thank you so much. And, and I know we've been trying to connect over those years, and I absolutely appreciate your following. And I'm so glad, at least over Zoom now, we get to have this connection. Absolutely. And we have a lot of ground to cover here. Um, you've been very critical of the Fed, saying they have overstepped most of their boundaries from 08. And it's under the guise of, you know, wanting to help uh, the economy. Uh, but... You know, the money printing they're creating is not going to the real people. 
that's right. And it really hasn't been going to the real people for a couple of reasons. One, that was never the Fed's actual job. Um, when the Fed was created um, back in 1913, the idea was it would help to funnel liquidity into the system. I get it out of Wall Street across the country. That was what was sold uh, to Congress and to the American people, and that wasn't the case. It was really the bankers that wanted emergency sources for themselves, and that's ultimately the Fed's best um, sort of focus for the bankers. Now, for the actual Main Street individuals, the money that the Fed creates, the rates that are at zero percent under their current monetary policy and their monetary policy since the financial crisis of 2008, and their quantitative easing of bond buying policy, and they buy these bonds from the banks, really serves to deflate the value of money, to allow banks to um, basically encourage this moral hazard relationship for themselves with the Fed, and ultimately propels markets up, but not the real economy. And we can see this in all of the data from 2008 through this pandemic. Period. Okay, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to break that down for you, okay? So, so notice 2008 keeps coming up. Let's let's think about a couple key factors. I'm going to educate you, Warriors. We're going to learn today. Okay, since 2008 to now, Bitcoin was came out around 2008, correct? Around 2009. There's been more money printed since 2008 than ever before. Put that in your pocketbook, okay? Education. More money has been printed. Ask yourself why. Why did that happen? The Federal Reserve was not created for you. It was created to protect the central banks, warriors. Wake up. Okay, another thing. Jerome Powell said they're going to keep interest rates low and they're not going to be raising them anytime soon. They go into a flexible inflation rate. That means they can inflate the living shit out of your goods and products and services as your dollar goes down, as they're moving the monetary system, as they're printing money into infinity, and it's called the Canton loan effect. So when they print money, you get your measly $600 check, but do you know where that went first? It's to the richest people in the world. Then the Canton loan effect brings it all the way down to you, and by the time it hits you, warriors, your dollar is worth less. Your $600 now is worth less because you go to buy, I don't know why we use gallon of milk as an example. You go to buy a gallon of milk, it costs more money. Inflation's going up, interest rates are low, and they're printing into infinity. Okay, now Goldman Sachs moves the country. Okay, they are the most powerful bank in the world. Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, and JP Morgan are three of the top heaviest hitters in the world. Okay, so I highly recommend you go watch that video. I will attach it down below. Okay. All right. So here's really important to understand. So Goldman Sachs names new head of digital assets in bet that blockchain is the future of financial markets. They don't make fucking risky bets, warriors. Goldman names new, and this lady's from Goldman Sachs, former Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs names head of digital assets in a bet. They don't just go, it's not like they go to a casino and say, hey, let me bet on this. That blockchain is the future of the financial markets. Okay. The bank made Matthew McDermott a managing director who ran the investment bank's internet fund operations and the new global head of digital assets last month. CNBC has learned. Okay, So they don't play games, Warriors. They don't mess with their money. Now, Ripple hires Goldman Sachs FX executive director, director and push to expand XRP market infrastructure in August. Warriors, the SEC lawsuit is just a big narrative. It's to rush in regulation. It's to push out the retail investors. And here's what I think is going to happen. As soon as the lawsuit's done, they're going to increase the price to the all-time high, which is around 338, I think, or 383. Don't quote me on that. It's around $3 and $3 and 83 cents, somewhere around there, right? So people are going to get excited and a lot of people are going to sell off. And then they may pump the price up even more during this bull run to about seven to $10. And that's going to push out a lot of retail investors. Like, you know what? I'm going to get out. If you hold, I'm going to have a long-term bag that I hold for a long time, Warriors. That is going to be the wealth. And I believe that's why the Flare token and the Spark token was created for the retail investors to move into. That's why they gave us the airdrop. Just my opinion. So let's go. Fed's gone wild. She explains it better than I could have explained it. Goldman Sachs named new head of blockchain. Ripple hires Goldman Sachs FX executive director to push expansion of the XRP market infrastructure. And Bank of America, another powerhouse, Bank of America tech chief, is skeptical on blockchain, even though B of O has most of the patents for it. So I wanted to read this. This is FUD, right? Bank of America tech chief is still skeptical of blockchain, 
even though B of A has the most patents for it. Bank of America Tech and Operations Chief Kathy Benson has reservations on blockchain, the technology underpending cryptocurrencies. In, in my private scoreboard, it's the closest I'm bearish, she says. Okay, it's the, did I say that right? This is a closet, I'm bearish. Okay, in the closet, oh, in the closet, I'm bearish. Still, the bank, uh, bank has 82 related patents, more than any other financial firm, including payment companies, MasterCard and PayPal. Bank of America owns the most cryptocurrency uh, patents. Let's use our brains, warriors. I'm not being facetious. Let's use our brains. Understand the game so you can't be played. Well, Ripple names Bank of America as key member of its global payments network. Should I just leave it right there and just shut this video off? Okay, so Fed's gone wild. We understand what the Fed does. The Fed is not designed for you. The 1913, the Federal Reserve was not created for you. It was created for the central banks to protect the richest people in the world. Do you remember who was at Jekyll Island or who was the members of Jekyll Island? J.P. Morgan, the Rothschilds, right? So think about who the powerhouses are in the world. Goldman Sachs is one of the most powerful banks. Bank of America is one of the most powerful banks. And who is Ripple connected to? Brad Garlinghouse sits on the cryptocurrency committee for the World Economic Forum. And all these people are saying that Ripple's going to go to zero. Ripple's a FUD coin. It's, gonna, it's a shit coin. They keep saying that. Oh, I get all these messages. It's the shit coin. I'm like, take your shit somewhere else, player. Let's go. I'm holding on like a tick on a dog. Now, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just giving you a different perspective. Now, you should not believe a a guy with a cutoff shirt, a long beard with a tinfoil hat on. You should learn how to research yourself, warriors. That's what I teach my warriors in my warrior academy. But I'll tell you what, right now, in this moment, is the biggest shift in generational wealth. And 99.9% .9 of you are going to get left behind. There's going to be two types of people sitting on their porch about 20 years from now, rocking back and forth. Oh, Kev, you remember when the government messed me up and they're broke, they can't feed their family, they're just, they're working at Walmart to pay for their freaking medication. Oh, the government screwed me over. Ah. And there's going to be two other people sitting on the porch. Hey, Kev, remember when we took advantage, just like the elites do, of the biggest shift in generational wealth in history? When everybody was looking this way, we started to invest this way on pennies on the dollar. And we were able to build this big ranch, sustainable living, and help millions and millions and millions of people feed their families. Two types of people, a warrior and a warrior. Which one are you, warriors? So my name is Coach JV. I am the top health and mindset coach in the world. Click down below in the description. You're going to see our free Facebook group. You can join our Warrior Academy. We have a crypto call every single Thursday, which is today. Uh, we have a Zoom call. I go over my portfolio. I talk about new projects coming up. We talk about technical analysis. You get access to my portfolio on a, uh, every time it changes. I'm very open with my academy and exactly what I'm doing. We also have a Discord with over 300 warriors. We have a technical analysis team in there helping answering questions. We have a crypto course. We have uh, 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 economics. We have a 120-day challenge. You work out with me and Kev Live daily. Nutrition, this is mind, body, and soul. This is bigger than fitness. We are not financial advisors, not financial advice, but we're truly openly documenting our journey into the quantum financial system and fourth industrial re revolution. We rise together and we fall together. Warriors, rise. Everything you need is in the description down below. Follow me on Instagram too, CoachJV underscore. Let's go. My podcast, CoachJV. Bye.